friends welcome back to arc tutorials this is node.js full tutorial series for absolute beginners in the last episode i covered in detail about the basics of programming that you will require in order to become a node.js developer or an express.js developer i hope you have gone through that tutorial because that is one of the most important episodes of this series today we are going to get an understanding of modules. Everything in Node.js that we will learn or implement will be based on modules. Hence, it's extremely important and crucial for you to have a good solid understanding of modules. This is part four of the series. Today we are learning understanding of modules. This is a complete comprehensive series which I'm planning to cover in 48 to 50 parts including Express.js with MySQL, MongoDB and much more. Let's get started with today's topic which is introduction of modules. Modules are a fundamental concept in programming that allows code organization and encapsulation. By designing modular based architecture we help the application break down into smaller, manageable and reusable components or units. Using the modular approach enhances code organization, readability and maintainability. When we talk about modules, modules will contain functions, variables or classes. Think of it this way, um, when you collect multiple classes, functions, variables, everything that belongs to a certain entity becomes a module. A good example could be, let's say you're building a payment module. Process payment, accept credit card, validate credit card, success message, failure, all of this will contain in one single module. That module becomes payment module. So think of it each when you bring an application, think of your entities, each one you can break it down into smaller modules. When we talk about modules, Encapsulation is a very, very important fundamental concept in protecting data. Encapsulation ensures that the internal details of a module are hidden. How the, intern how the module works internally is hidden from an outside program and that's what makes it more secure. Now, like I said, modular programming is an approach that separates a program into independent smaller modules. Each module is responsible for a specific functionality. I gave you an example of payment module. Same way, think of users as a module. Payment is one, orders is one, products is one, store is one. So you can break down your application into multiple smaller modules. Like I said, modules can include functions, variables and classes too. Now why use modules? Modules provide a structured way to organize code. It helps in preventing naming conflicts and keeping the related code together. When you work in a large distributed team, each team member can work on different modules. But when you put all those modules together, becomes your one big application. The one of the most important use cases of modules is that since it's smaller units, it's easy to maintain, it's easy to debug, it's easy to extend. It also helps in reducing the entire complexity of the application and improves code readability. Now there are different types of modules in Node.js. There are some core or built-in modules. All right. Now think of it these as the most essential pieces that are required for Node.js which are inbuilt. Some of which are file system, HTTP, etc. There are third party modules. Now these are the modules which are created by other developers outside of Node.js team. You can install these using the NPM package managers. There are also custom or user defined modules. For example, if we like I gave an example of payment module, that's a custom store. That's a custom module that is required for our application. So we will create as a developer, we will create that module. So important thing to know that there are three types of modules in node.js one is the built-in module which is part of the programming language or runtime environment provided directly when you install node.js the second is the external or the third-party modules which are created by other developers 
and shared via package managers which you install using npm the third is the user defined modules which the developers will create for specific functionality and use them in the application as we progress in the series first we are going to learn about the built-in modules I'm also going to show you how to use third-party modules and when we are learning modules we will learn how to create our own modules and start using them we talked about the modular programming uh, fundamental concept now common JS is a module specification used in node.js modules are defined using module dot exports and imported using require statement some modern uh, you know a way of importing in ES6 could be import and export statements don't worry about this because in the next episode we are going to uh, start learning how to create and export modules so this was an overview of modules for you important thing and take away from this is these three things the different types of modules because like I said once we start writing our own modules you should be able to clearly distinguish between what are built-in modules what are external modules and what are the custom modules so in the next episode we are going to learn how to create and export our own modules okay custom modules and then we will deep dive into the built-in modules I hope it's clear I hope uh, uh, you can use this PPT for referencing for getting a theoretical knowledge but the best way to learn is hands-on examples which is what we will do in the next episode where we will learn how to create and export a module I hope you are enjoying this series please do hit that like button for me to keep encouraging and motivating me thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode